Let's get into the D and D. <laughs> Last session, the party traveled to a village that is devoid of liveliness and movement. The party made their way to a tavern and discovered a young boy running away from Iman's army's life. He's in search of his older brother that did the same thing. The young boy discovered the identity of Theoden and was surprised to find an ex-war captain roaming the lands. He confided in Theoden about his concerns with this village and although he's on the run, he wants to help the village out. He made a couple of friends here in the village that he felt he needed to save them. Theoden, being Theoden, took it on the task uh, upon himself and asked the young boy Samuel to stay at the tavern while he goes around and trying to figure out what's wrong with this village. Well, it turns out that the village is plagued by a disease that rot living flesh at a rapid pace. And at this site, the party managed to discover a cleric, a grave cleric uh, that goes by the name Sagan, that was sent here by the clergy to help the, out the outbreak. Well, Sagan was actually undercover as well, trying to solve the mystery of this disease. He discovered that the disease had an anomaly, um, and that was a puncture wound the size of a coin on the dead bodies. With the help of the party, Sagan was able to break into the homes of the village leaders and kill them, only to discover that they are a part of a ritual to summon a disease-ridden demon it cast me. It flew around and attempted to take the offering, but was but the party was quick enough to stop it. They managed to save the young boy named Nemenar that was as offered as a sacrifice. Nemenar was then returned to his uh, beloved uh, mother. After which, the party then take the time to discover uh, the area and examine it and discovered a secret door that led to a portal. And this portal looks like it might have led back to the cave in the Awif, in the Awas forest. There was a bunch of stone statue that was placed around the arcane ritual, I mean, the arcane sigils, but on the ground. And it looks like the stone statues of chieftains. And one of them was a Moonhee. Kaylin was sad by it, embracing her beloved father one last time before Tok Tok planted a um, magical arcane uh, sort of blast that set the entire um, sigil apart. And by doing so, there are magical backlash, which then um, exploded and not only destroyed the statue and the portal, but the home as well. The party managed to escape in time before the blast radius uh, took them out, and Kaylin is left feeling sad. Theoden rushed Kaylin as soon as possible. I mean, sorry, not rush. Uh, managed to move Kaylin uh, towards the tavern, although she's drags, um, although she drags her feet, she managed to move. When they arrive at the tavern, it turns out that they were being spied on. It turns out the party was being spied on by Zug Zug. He killed the male tavern owner and the halfling tavern owner and killed Samuel. There, Tok Tok jumps on Samuel's body while Theoden is worried, um, crying, and Tok Tok put gush, like, tries to force out the last words of uh, Samuel. And all he could say was uh, he did not have the stone. And that's where we left off. We left off with Tok Tok on the dead body or the dying body of Samuel, trying to ink out any words or any clues or well, very little things he can say. All he can usher was, I think, his brother's name. The very final moment. What would you guys like to do? Remind me again, was it, did we find him dead or was he there and then he got the dagger thrown into him? Like literally he just got killed from some other direction. I think he was bleeding out and then the dagger like vanished. Oh, yeah. 
it was in him and then it disappeared mm-hmm. yeah. okay yeah. so the dagger was in his uh was on his ch- was in his chest and it slowly dissipates um into a smoky vapor so theoden's gonna let out a very like frustrated cry and like slam his fist onto the ground and then just start looking around the room trying to see like is there any clues of like where where this happened or like okay. where this in the heat of the moment you guys are having a difficult time um you know collecting your emotions Theoden. why don't you roll me an investigation check to kind of figure out what's going on any clues left did Zugzug fuck up uh talk talk do you want to do this as well because talk talk is all about trying to find that stone so he climbs off the body you're looking very agitated and then quite literally he will also start looking around the room can i help let me somewhere let me somewhere oh you want to help me instead yeah i'm gonna help you instead because my investigation's a three but my investigation's a six yeah i figured yours okay (laughs) i love that idea so never mind didn't even need to roll it (laughs) wait what'd you roll Natural 20. Ooh, spicy. Oh <laughs> First roll tonight. Apparently my dice. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. So that okay. in all would be 26, but natural 20. Yeah. Natural 20. So. Zugs up fucked up. <laughs> Let's see if Zugs up fucked up. How bad is Zugs up fucked up? I'm going to roll for that, actually. I'm going to find Zugs up. He rolled the nat 20. Okay. He fucked up. <laughs> talk, talk. You know Zugs Zug. You've met him before at the Lyceum, when both of you guys were all very young. Zugzuck is always arrogant and always quiet. But there are times where his arrogance gets the better of him. He had to train himself to be quiet. There are times where he would boast and let people know that he was the one that did all this stuff. That he was the one that was better at magic than anyone else at the Lyceum. As you search around, you remember a moment in your memory. You're thinking to yourself of a time in the Lyceum. There are three gnomes. Uh, there was one gnome, uh, Zugzug, and another one. His name is um, his name is Rug Rug. No, pick <laughs> <laughs> everyone. Rug I'm liking these so far. It's Rug Rug and Zug Zug. Rug Rug seemed to welcome you with open arms, but Zug Zug seemed to be a bit ambivalent. Rug Rug says to you, Hey, Tok Tok, you're the youngest gnome out of all of us. As he puts his arms around you, Stay under my wing, okay? I'll make sure you're safe. Aww. Look, finally met a good new. You hear Zug Zug in the corner, cross his arm, just. <sighs> Tok Tok going to die soon, tiny gnome. And then, Rock Rock pulls you in, and you meet. A tall man, uh, but this man uh, is clean shaven. He has blonde hair. At this time, he says to you, "You are all gnomes here. At this lyceum, I will train you to master the art of magic. You will be known as master thinkers and gnomes of the arts." Revere across the land of Wessar. But those who fail shall suffer the consequences. Death. Because we cannot have our magic be spread. It's only for those who are strong. Then Ragnar looks over at uh, uh, Tok Tok and says, Don't worry, Tok Tok. You and I got this. Why do I get a singing thing that looks gonna die? Days have passed, and after meeting Rug Rug and Zug Zug, you notice that 
the um, Lyceum is built with um, the, the place that you study is actually a very small home in a village far away from in isolation basically and it's a small stone home uh, like kind of sort of like home made of stone cobblestones and you see yourself having a difficult time mastering the magic even having a hard time casting the cantrip you have a book in front of you and you're just reading it and learning about the different type of components that can tap into the weave sparking as you're just trying to make it work you notice that rug rug is able to do it so beautifully he just snap his finger and all of a sudden you see a like a tiny candle with light uh flame i should candle with flame just get a tip of his thumb <sighs> hey suck suck i did it i did it suck suck I'm gonna make it big, Zog Zog. Zog Zog Zog. Try to snap his fingers, not working. <laughs> <laughs> you see yourself having a hard time doing that. Zog Zog then says, I'm better than you, Rug Rug, and pushes him away and just off the chair. You see Rug Rug falls into the ground and he's <laughs> confused. Looks over at you, talk, talk, and says, Sucks like that sometimes. Stands up. Anyway, I'll show you how I did it. He then taught you how to do magic, and then you realize you're having a difficult time. Having a hard time over the days, weeks, months to even master any sort of magic. You manage to understand magic to its core, though. Of all the times you failed, you learned. You notice that Rug Rug goes up to you and says, Hey, Tuck Tuck. <laughs> Tuck Tuck. Hey, I got you something. <sighs> he gives you a round, um, obelescent stone. And he says, Well, we call it transmutation stone. Yes. The man Grigor told me that I'm the master of transmutation magic. So I made you this. I know you're really good at magic. Perhaps maybe you can use this stone to fuel your magic. Huh? Here. I don't want you to fall behind, Tok Tok. This might help you. Tok Tok, you take it. And every, and, but uh, every time you interact with Rug Rug, at the corner of your eye, you see Zug Zug agitated. Always oh. crossing his arms. Always spitting into the ground next to, always leaning against the, um, the doorway. Always just like lurking. One day, Rug Rug came home and say, Tuck Tuck, I did it. Grigor has decided to send me to Vasselheim. The city of mages. He said I have it. It's nice knowing you, Tok Tok. And keep practicing, okay? You're getting really good. I really like the cube that you made. One day, it'll come in handy, I promise. Zog Zog's like, congratulations, Rug Rug. Thanks, Zog Zog. And then, he left. That night, that night kind of left you with a distaste. That night, <laughs> you sensed something wrong. You woke up, and in the darkness, you find someone scratching his boots, picking at it, basically, with a dagger. You see in the corner, sitting there, a di on like a small stool, Zog Zog, and lying in front of him, a dead body, it's Rug Rug. What? 
the dagger stabbing his back. All of a sudden, you see that dagger um, evaporates into a black smoke. Zug Zug smiles. He says, Finally, he shuts up. <laughs> Talking about how good he is. I, Zug Zug, is better. And he flicks the dirt off of his boots. As he walks away, You're lucky, Tok Tok. You weak. Nobody likes you. Not worth my time killing you. Maybe Kunigar will understand that my skill set is better. Flips his dagger and just toss it onto the ground. So the dagger hits the dirt. <laughs> it protrudes out. Kill yourself if you want. Talk, talk. I'm heading to Vasselheim. He takes the documents that was given to Rugrug Rug and head over to Vasselheim. You notice that out of his frustration and out of his eagerness, he always, always flicked dirt off his boots. Always sits and enjoy the view. You scatter around the room here and you currently find yourself a stool. You quickly travel to the stool as fast as you can without telling anybody in the party. Theoden and Kaylin, you see Talk Talk kind of skirmishing around the room, moving about until he finds a stool. And underneath the stool, he finds specks of dirt. Talk Talk, you know this is, as well as anybody, that you know this can be a clue. You take a vial and you scoop dirt into your kit. And you look around quickly. There must be another dagger somewhere. There must be. You look around and you find... Actually, bloody prints at the windowsill. You go up and you realize that Zelda must have been hurt. You check the bloody prints by the windowsill and you can see his fingerprints. Uh, three fingers. And as you look down um, outside the window, um, uh, by the way, the windows are shutters, I should say, you see farmland outside. What would you like to do? Oof. All right. So, okay. Ulster, a little uh, yeah, bloody footprint on there. You see this with three fingers. So it looks like he, uh, he used it to exit, not, um, not climb through. Okay. Yeah, talk will have a little bit. Hmm. Zuckerberg must have gone out this window. What do you know? Sure why? And I'll kind of look at the dirt and shake it a little bit in the vial. Between point of expiration, and he points at the body, and blood, might not be too far off. And then just look back at the box. Find him. I'm going to grab my scimitars and make my way to the window. And peer out like does it look like i could see where he jumped to get down um you can't tell is it nighttime what time is it uh it is um midday no it's um actually uh, nighttime yeah nighttime a little bit yeah pop my goggles i'll i'll turn back to to kaylin and be like do you want to go with me or do you want to rest uh, I'll go. Are you sure? Yes. Well, let's try to find this bitch. I'm gonna <laughs> start. Uh, how how far is the jump? Um, Down all this. Uh, about fifteen feet, a little bit, a little bit less. Twelve mm. to fifteen feet. That'd probably hurt me if I jumped in. Mm. Gonna start storming my way out the front door then. Okay, you storm, you go downstairs and storm your way out to the front door, leaving both the half of the tavern owner's dead body, tavern owner dead body, and uh, all you guys head out the front door. Yeah, talk, talk. no, me not jumping out any window. All right, so talk, talk, Ooh. Kaylin, you guys head out the front door with Theoden. As you guys head out the front door, you notice that people are start conjugating towards the Shit. Um, towards the explosion. People are oh, slowly yeah. curious as to what had just happened. Uh, obviously, yeah. 
Yeah. Um, you got people from the outskirts of the village, um, in their, t uh, you know, in their small farmer's hut or uh, tool shed. They would walk and make their way towards the center of town, uh, where the town center lies. <laughs> where it lies. It lives. Most of the people covers the street, um, making it difficult for you guys to go across like the small road that they have built. Um, but it didn't matter to you guys. You guys decided to take the back end. Um, I literally am not trying to hide it at all. Right. We are killed everyone that would. So care. where do you guys want to go? <laughs> yep. I'd ask Talk Talk and be like, "Where do you think you would have gone?" Uh, Talk Talk will actually kind of guide them over to where the window was and kind of look around. Uh, I'm not really sure what it would be, but someone might have good eyes to find it. Maybe some blood marks, something? Blueprints? Well, you said there's dirt, too. So I'm going to start looking at the ground, seeing if there's, like, dirt blood. Whatever. Okay, yeah. As you guys make your way towards the backside of the tavern where the uh, window was, um, Kaylin, you feel like you're more adept at, like, hunting? Yeah. Um, yep. Try to make a survival check to track them with advantage. Okay, don't mind if I do. Okay, uh -oh. my highest is 23. Damn. Yeah, right. nice. Talk Talk took you to the scene of the crime to find out that on the backside there is a bunch of pa there's like um there's like a uh, dewy patch of grass with mud, um and he took you to that area behind the um, tavern and you push the grass aside to find muddy footprints, and it looks to be that. Of Zugzug, because it's a tiny feet. You know, it looks like yeah. a child footprint. <laughs> um, Kaylin will grab her axes and start uh, following them without really saying anything to the party. Follow right behind her. You didn't talk to you. You know that Kaylin yep. yeah, she's and you guys her. follow yep. suit. As you guys follow suit, you travel to this farm, and you see the farm has not been tended to. Although everybody in this morning has been tending to their farm, this one has not. Only enough strikes a uh, bit of curiosity as you guys uh, what would you guys like to do? I think we should stealth in. I mean, do the Kaylin, tracks you find, to the farm? You find tracks leading uh, into the house and a lot of them around the farm area. And the farm area is just a patch of dirt with a bunch of, it looks like um, a vegetable crop uh, that's growing uh, root, root crops okay. that are growing. Um, so there's tracks leading into the house, and then there are other tracks leading just around the house? Uh, uh just around the, 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 the crop field. Um, does, but the crops are not tended to. Does it look like those tracks are, um, leading somewhere else, or? No, no, no. Just, it looks okay. like, it looks like whoever was here was pretending to look, to look like they're working. Uh. Um, Kaylin will stop and look at the tracks that she's seeing. And then um, she'll motion towards the house, and she will start to stealth up there. Give yeah, everyone make me a stealth check. All right. Uh, I personally got a 10. No, wait, 11. Would you all? 11? 15. 15? Uh, natural 20. Oh! <laughs> Damn it. I hate it when you guys stealth. Sexy. Um, <laughs> Kaylin, you lead the party with your amazing stealth skills, and you, you've been hunting for a long time. You know how to hunt. You know what to do. Mm -hmm. You sneak up to the side of the house. Make sure to stay away from the door or any windows. You first peek into the window shutters, if possible. Peering your eyes into it. Difficult to see, but you can see four pairs of, uh, four pairs of um, legs oh. from the window shutters. I will um, look back from the window and I'll hold up four fingers at uh, Theo and Talk Talk, trying to signal like I see four people in there. I look a little surprised, but I hold my um, my twin claws closer. I'm ready. Talk right. oh, just looks confused. So, um, Kaylin, make me a ins because you rolled a natural twenty on your scalp, mm -hmm. right? Make me a survival check or an insight check, whichever you're proficient at. Um, and 
Okay, either you roll with advantage or you allow everyone to roll. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll survival. Um, uh, yeah, my highest was 25. Oh, there you go. You, you, you tell the party four, but something, something's odd. Something's really odd. The footprints, uh, of the people, the, the foot, uh, the legs of the individuals inside the home, it seems to be bigger. Human size, not gnome size. There might be some child's, uh, you see like two little, uh, human feet. Um, they're all wearing boots though, so you can't tell. But you can tell that marching around the farm area are smaller footprints. And it doesn't add up. Hmm. You feel like it's something's odd inside. You get an inkling. A terrible inkling. It looks like they're in stationary, so they're not moving. The people inside? Yes. Do you want to go inside? Um, yeah, Kaylin will, um, like, hold her hand up, like, trying to tell her party to wait. And then she's going to try and sneak inside. Get it, girl. How would you like to sneak inside? From um, which angle? Uh, I assume all the windows are closed. Um, they're shutters. So, um, they're like, um, uh, the, the, um, the, uh, pull, uh, sorry, not pull, but the, uh, the shutters where, uh, you could push the blinds up and down. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, so right now it's slightly up. So that way you can see, uh, from the bottom it's, side. It's not high. I'd have to move them to slip in through the window, right? Uh, yes. You would have okay. to stick your hand on the inside to the inside and unlatch it so that you can open it. Okay. And then how close is the door? The door is roughly about five feet on the other side of the wall. Okay. Uh, I would like to go to the door and try and open it quietly, okay. if possible. There's also uh, a chimney, by the way. I'm going to go to the door. <laughs> go down like Santa. Go down like Santa. <laughs> All right. You go up to the front door, um, and it's a beautiful wooden front door. Nothing too crazy. But as you go in and try to open it, you stop. You look at the um, the sigil. There's an arcane sigil at the bottom of the door Ooh. on the floor. Mm. You can see like a marking of an arcane sigil sticking out. It looks like somebody fucked up. Uh, well, seeing the arcane sigil, I definitely don't want to go through the door, so she'll go back and try and go through the window. Okay. There are two windows. Um, there are actually... Sorry, I should say there's three windows. Uh, one window on the same wall as the door. Um, the other two windows are on the side of the houses. Uh, she'll go on the opposite side that they were at. The party's in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you see uh, to the other side, you realize that um, this is like, you could see the backside of, of the individuals now. And it looks like their head is like slot forward. Mm -hmm. So, it, revealing the nape of their neck. They all look like they're wearing peasant type clothing and they're all sitting. Yeah. Wah, wah. You see uh, two adult. Um, humans, and you see uh, two children. I get, well, she'll walk over, back over to the party, and she'll let them know about the arcane sigil at the door, just so they're aware. Mm -hmm. And then she'll go to the window, and she'll try and get into the house to hopefully figure out what's going on with these people, and maybe uh, help them out. Are you going to try and do it stealthily? Yes. While he's doing that, I want to keep an eye uh, to see if I see Zudzo around here. Okay, make a perception check for me. And then, uh, Kaylin. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, wait, with a disadvantage. Uh, one eye. <laughs> what? Same time. Yeah, but you have one eye. Oof. Oh. Um, so. Uh. <laughs> okay. 
It's only fair you did this to yourself. <laughs> That's true. This other one would have been an 18. Uh, Kaylin, uh, so if you want to do it stealthy, can you make me two checks? One is mm -hmm. a stealth check, and one is a sleight of hand check. Okay. Um... Actually, never mind. Just roll me a sleight of hand check. I'll say you... Because you roll a natural 20 on your stealth. <laughs> I rolled a natural uh, one on my sleight of hand. <laughs> Kaylin, mm -hmm. you go on the other side of the wall, stick your hand under into the uh, um, window shutter. Mm -hmm. Go under it, and you hear it. A latch. Uh, you feel a latch at the, at the very tip of it. You unlatch it. Oh. And you feel like you did an amazing job. Good. <laughs> they were totally all watching your hand go. Uh, <laughs> Everybody's like mid-drink. Yeah, I know. We're on the other side. I'm uh, attempting to look for Zug Zug with a 10. With a 10. You don't find Zug Zug. <laughs> Big surprise. Kaylin, what do you do next? Uh, I'm gonna push it open and go in. As you push it open and you go in, <laughs> you jump in, you have to jump over their heads. And as you jump over their heads, you land in the middle of this small, humble home with probably one uh, divider that divides the room. Okay. And you are on the other side of the house with, um... Uh, as you look behind you, you see the, a man with black hair, um, a cloth covering his mouth, and a, a female with long black hair as well, a cloth tied around her mouth. Um, and they both bounded to their chair, swooped over. Um, as you can see, blood uh, all over their body. Uh, looks like they've been dead. Um, and you see the two children um, on the seat. And they both have blood on them as well. Uh, this room has a, this house has a small chim fireplace, mm -hmm. as well as a divider on the other side of the room. Um, and it looks to be like their room. Other than that, it's a pretty much open space with a couple of uh, stove and kitchen area around this home. But right now you're by the windowsill. Okay. Uh, where, uh, and by the stove, the kitchen area. Um, and as you step in, seemingly nothing happened. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Um, are the children dead? I was going to say, I want to go run over and check uh, for a pulse on the kids. You check the pulse on the uh, little girl. Uh, it looks like she is dead. You check over to the little boy, and you feel like he's alive. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna start. Uh, Second little boy, we get to sing. I know. I'm gonna start uh, untying him from his chair. Yeah, you go to this backside, untie him from the chair, and you untie his mouth. Uh, he's about to slop over, forward, and you catch him. What do you do? I. Uh, I'm gonna use my motherly instincts to cast cure wounds on him. Okay. Um, uh, how do you hold him? How big is he? Uh, he's about eight year old size. Okay. Uh, I'll probably like hold him like kind of to my chest, I guess, like head mm -hmm. on my shoulder type of deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then okay. and then I'll cast cure wounds on him, and then once. After I do that, oh, cure him. Uh, how much do you cure him for? Uh, that's a good question. One d eight plus your ability, so roll it. Uh, that is max for twelve health. Nice. Feels good. You feel like his. You can hear the sound of his wounds closing. Nice. And all of a sudden, you feel a sharp sh pain on your back. As you see, his form changes back into a gnome, um, and you are paralyzed, and you take... Uh, make a constitution saving throw. Actually. Oh my god. This might determine. At a disadvantage. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I hate Zug Zug even more. Constitution saving throw? Yeah. Uh, that's 12. 12. 
Ah, uh, you failed. Oh no. Ah, uh, so <laughs> you. Said we're invincible and young. <laughs> you take. Uh, you take six uh piercing damage, and since you fail the poison, you take fifteen poison damage. Oh, oh my god. Uh, can I make any noise? All right. Uh, you since you failed, you you feel like a paralyzation overcomes you. And not even like. Tiny... Not even like you when he when he like initially stabs me. Can I like cry out in pain or? Uh. Hmm. She's trying. She's trying. You fail your con check. Uh, oh, let's no. see. How about this? Um, you do make a, a slight grunt sound because it does hurt. It takes this opportunity for him to jump back as you see this dark-skinned gnome, a bald, uh, looks at you with a scar over his uh, entire face. He smiles. It doesn't say much. And then he takes his hand and place it. Um, uh, he opens the stove. And hidden inside the stove, he pulls out a stone. Oh. About uh, oh. the palm. And he pulls out a wand from his uh, pocket. And during this time, for him to set up, Theoden, make a perception check, and Tata, make a perception check. <laughs> I'm not good at these. I'm relying oh, on you guys, please. Is this advantage? Or is this more of a hearing thing? This is more of a hearing thing. Cool. So that's just straight up 16. 16. Oh, nice. That's better than my just straight up 6. <laughs> my wife's yeah, senses not... are tingling. <laughs> yeah. You can hear this, the uh, uh, sound of grunting inside. Of, what do you do? Of Kaelin or? You just hear the sound of grunting. It's uh, so hard for you to make out the details of the sound. I'm gonna, uh, they sound like a, like. But it does sound woolly. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna open the shutter. It's locked. It's locked! Oh! Uh, can I break it in? Yeah, most certainly. You can try. Uh, with what? My sword? Uh, do you have a bludgeoning damage uh, weapon? No. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult to hit it with the slashing, but you can try to. Go ahead. Uh, a shield? I have, um, hand axe? Uh, sword, hand axe is fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, Roll so, the hit. Roll the hit. Disadvantage or what? Okay. For uh, twin claws? Mm-hmm. Fifteen. Fifteen. You hit the, uh, shutters. <laughs> Uh, but you realize that the blade does not have a good angle, so you actually hit a little bit of the roof, um, and it stops a lot of the momentum of damage. Uh, roll for damage. Ten. Ten. Nice. You slash it, and Kaylin, in the side of the ear, you can hear the sound of uh, ho um, a window breaking, but it's not quite broken yet. Bonus action. Okay, go ahead. Roll the hit. Uh, same thing to hit. All right. Roll for damage. Nine. Nine. It almost broke. <laughs> oh my god, that was. Um, at this point, I want everybody to roll for initiative. All right, twenty-five to twenty. No. No. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay, Lynn, you have to roll at a disadvantage. Oh right? fuck. <laughs> okay. You done? Yes. Okay, 20 to 15. That's me! Oh, what's your roll? 15! <laughs> 15. Okay, well, then that means... My better roll was 17. Feels bad. Oh no, Zug Zug gets to go first! Oh, fuck. Uh... Top -top is than me. <laughs> I'm gonna guarantee he's not. Oh no. And then Kaylin is gonna be... Now what? 15. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, Theoden, what you roll? Eight. Oh, oh my, god. my god. These boys, dude. That's me. <laughs> I was too busy trying to get through this damn one. And window. talk, talk. Roll day. Natural one, but with that plus one, it gets a two. Two? All right. Feels good. <laughs> yeah. We're doing it. Yeah, we're, right. we're coming in. <sighs> he 
pulls out his magical wand and you see a copper like um wand with spirals uh notches around it and at the very tip of it you see like a blue sort of mystical flame he points at you and utters some words and all of a sudden you see that flame kind of spreads out and bursts and shoots you so fast like arrows <gasps> he casts magic missile oh on God. you and he's gonna do it for five charges Caitlin. so it's normally no he's gonna do it for three charges actually oh or five that sounds a little better uh so three that means he gets three more it's a d4 for missile uh magic missile so that means it's a uh, 1d4 three so it's 3d4 so now it's uh for three it's 64. So Jesus. it's going to be uh, 12 d4s. Oh my god! What? <laughs> well, get a wand! 15, like 15. 27. No, she's damaged. No, I'm not, bitch. Okay. Oh. Uh, and then. It's not yet. Four, oh, yeah, now I'm down. No! So 27, 34. 34. Uh, so only 6. What um, the fuck, Zug Zug? Uh, 34, 40. 40 damage in total. Jeez, you beat! Yeah, that definitely knocks me down. Is that more than half your health? Uh, sh no. Uh, wait, 40? Yeah. Yeah, my max is 46. I had 30. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. If your max okay. is 46, you're fine. Okay. This didn't go double your health, otherwise it'd be insta-death. You are down as these missile pelts you on the ground. Is my window open? Do I see this? Uh, you just hear the sound of magic missile go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's, that's funny. Uh, then he is actually going to go over to your body, grab some of the blood that has kind of uh, flowed from your body, and write something on the ground as if stone is glowing. And it looks like he's actually going to try to write something. Well, Kaylin, you. Well, Katie, you see this. Um, him writing something on the ground by the door. Looks like he's trying to finish the incantation. Oh, with my blood? Mm-hmm. Very cool. All right. Um, that will be his turn. Um, actually, yeah, no, that would be his turn. It looks like he just finished. Thank and you. all of a sudden, his orb is glowing. You see a glowing light on the other side. All right, Theoden, now it is your... Kaylin's your turn. I was going to say, where's my death saving throw? Ow. That's 11! Okay. Yeah. 11, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. Uh, Theoden, your turn. I finished knocking down this window. Okay, roll to hit it. Oh my god, it's still a roll to hit... Oh. Okay. 14? Uh, 14, okay. That mm, that hits. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> that misses. Eight damage. Eight damage. Oh, uh, that's enough for you to finally break Jeez. slash open this window. It's it's not a clean slash. It's a <laughs> and it just shatters. And uh, you finally shatter it enough and remove some of the hinges, and you can see uh, Zuck Zuck is looking over at you, kind of a bit scared. Um, I'm gonna hop in and run my way over to all right the make theater. an athletics check to leap through Holy oh my god natural 19 so that's right a you nice through um mm -hmm. you have enough movement to go to who to get to where to kaylin okay you find kaylin's body um as you see like uh her skin is bruised from all the magical pelts that uh hit her but um and she's bleeding out from uh her back um, I'm gonna... As you see her body spasm. <sighs> okay. There's, I guess, nothing I can really do. It's all actions. So... Yeah. Um, is he still next to her? Uh-huh. I'm gonna use my bonus action. <sighs> Swipe at him. Okay, roll the hit. I'm gonna use my last, uh, superiority die on him. Fuck you, Zerto. Um... The maneuvering one, so I could get talk talk in here. Yep. Oh, Ooh, nice. Oh, big brain. Natural seventeen to hit. Natural seventeen. That hits. 
so that'll be 15 damage. 15 damage does hit. Uh, take he takes 15. It looks like um, he is still okay. He just back from your uh, backhand swing. Uh, you cutting most you cut most of his uh, outfit, but uh, his cape, I should say. Yeah. But overall, he seems to be uh, tired from dodging that. All right. But he's still technically next to me. You jumped back in for your yeah, yeah. He still okay. takes the damage. Cool. It, it looks like he takes half damage. Oh, okay. Because he uses his reaction to jump back. Uh, all right. Talk, talk. It's your turn. I get that free move thing, right? Right. Yep. yep. Right. Okay. So you did that before your turn. Right. So, oh. Oh. So, so he gets a free reaction to move. Uh, oh move. yeah. What do you want to do? So how many spaces do I get to move? Uh, half your speed. Half, half your speed. speed, which is like ten or something. So that's enough to get oh. on. Exactly. I oh, know I can't move my character. So where was I there before? Mm-hmm. So talk talk will do five, oh, ten. So well, at least he's in. It requires time. half your movement to get on top of it. So now it's your turn. So the beginning of your turn, you are going to jump through. Yeah. Okay. And you're basically using the movement of your steel offender. Yup. Okay. But then once I'm in and I see the whole situation, because I look at something zug zug. And then a down, Kaylin. And then a weird glowing sigil by the door. Uh, he'll get oh, you see off the, uh, of it. Oh, yeah. The shiny. The shiny. All right. The shiny. So that's that's my full move for that reaction thing. So now for... No, your full move off. for your reaction is just to get on the, uh, the, the Steel Defender. Oh. Uh, yeah. Wait, would it take half my move to just go in through the window on my foot? My foot? Like instead of going uh, there, could I go there? Instead of getting um, on? Um, it would or take. You have to roll an athletics check to even make sure you can climb through the window. Okay, yeah. No, let's avoid rolls to <laughs> make success and stuff. Yeah, <gasps> we'll do that okay. then. You have enough movement to move anywhere you want now. Well, I don't want to move flap flap. I want to get off of flap flap. So that'll be half my movement to get off of them, right? All right. So you only have ten feet left. I'm small enough. I could sit between like Theo's legs, right? <laughs> yeah, most certainly. Five, Sit ten. Between the <laughs> I could climb over his shoulder. I don't know. He's climbing on Theo in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> With his nice little spray cannon. He's like, oh god, oh god, oh god. And spraying a nice little cure wounds on her. Thank you. Oh, okay, yes. And he's going to be like glaring at Zug Zug while he does it. Roll a heal. Thank you. Bless you, child. <laughs> Bless you, child. Uh, that would be a 7 plus 4 and 11. 11 hit points back for you. Ooh, Yay! 11 hit points. You're back up with 11 hit points, Kaylin. Now, since she was, you know, killed, does that cure the paralysis on her? Uh, yes. It does. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, actually, I should take that back. No, it oh. You see, the poison um, is taking effect. The poison is what is oh, giving her, making her, um... Okay. And that's still in our bloodstream. I gotcha. Well, you guys have any uh, spells like lesser restoration? Shh. I'm a half spell user. I don't have cool ones like that yet. I don't have spells yet. I don't have cool spells yet. All right. Yeah, I got personal All spells. Right. Is that the end but, of your turn, Talk Talk? No, that's it for Talk Talk's turn. And then oh. his reaction bonus is gonna be smash, and then have um, flat flat back to move up. Yep. Ooh, roll the hit. Oof! That son of a bitch. Yeah, that is a. That's not gonna be that good. Yeah, a nine and all. I'm nine guessing that misses. Misses. You see, Zug Zug back, like does like a matrix back uh, flip and dodges your tackle. Well, then he just yeah, yeah. Zug Zug. And then that's it for his turn. Uh, he smiles at you and he says. I'm so glad you're here, Tok Tok. <laughs> I'll show you who's the better mage. He finished the circle. He drops the stuff. What? He's then going to take a disengage action. I hit him! 
He disengaged. Sentinel. Oh, you have Sentinel! Yep. Oh, okay. I've been okay. waiting for him to do all that. Alright, alright. Go ahead, roll the hit. <laughs> That's like a 25. 25? 25? 17, 18, 19, 20. Or 23. 23. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This fucking bitch. <laughs> oh. Eight. Eight. Oh. Like across his back. You, you, um, you hit him as he tries to run away quickly. And it doesn't work. Uh, how much time should you do? Eight. Eight. Uh, he is not gonna uncanny dodge. That's what he's gonna do. Yeah. Maybe he uses his reaction. No, that's his bonus action. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, on his. Then he looks at the whole scenario. He's like. Ugh. He points the, the, the ones at you. Theoden, <laughs> and uh, as an action, he's going to expel. So he's three. He's going to use th four. He's going to use all four. Oh god. Uh, at first, I have to roll this. Hey. Okay, hey, you're fine. DM. Uh huh. I know I'm paralyzed, but can I do the thing? Yes. I would like to do the thing, DM. Okay. Are you oh. fucking do it? Is this a fucking wording bond? Oh no, but it so doesn't bad. work. Uh, it doesn't work because um. Uh, cause Magic Missile doesn't have to roll the hit. Oh, Rude. Oh, but you could- but you can soften the damage. That's exactly what I want to do. Oh, okay. Okay, why do you do this to Uh, okay, so that's... Three plus four is seven. So we go. Then they have to roll to hit me? No, it's Magic, no, Magic Missile. missile. Yep. Yeah. Shit. Uh, 24 plus uh, 30, 31. I'm down. <laughs> he does 31 damage to you. And as all these magical missiles pelts you, you miraculously stand up. So you take half the damage. What's half of 31? Is half of 31 is 15. But you see Kaylin's life expends again as she falls down to what? the ground. God fucking As you see a mystical connection between your hand, it glows. Oh no. Oh yes. Cast warding bond on you. I hate everything. Uh, so <laughs> you take 15 damage. Kaylin, you take 15 damage. That's yep. what you back down. I am down again, yeah. He's down again. Oh my fuck. Yeah, I'm like so shocked at like not feeling like all the vein. I'm like, when I see her down again. Yeah, Zug Zug's so confused. He thought that this would take you. He puts away his uh, wand and quickly prepares his uh, for battle as he pulls out another dagger. Okay. Okay. Uh, that will be his turn. Kaylin, stir another death saving throw. <laughs> 14! Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, one oh success. Uh, you can't kill me. Young and invincible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's your turn, Theoden. Does he look pretty injured now? No. No? No. He's still right next to me, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to hit him twice. Full rage mode. Cause I'm like, I could heal Kaylin, but you're just gonna go down when he hits me again. Don't talk silly there, baby. Don't you worry. Okay. <laughs> talk I'm, gonna, to I'm gonna hit him. First, first hit. Fourteen. Fourteen. Misses. Oh. oh. As you miss, he dodges. He says, "Zug Zug, have antidote for her. Drop your weapon, and Zug Zug will give." Do I kite inside him? Do I even believe that? It's up to you. I don't, I don't believe this bitch. He puts his hand in his pocket. I think he's holding something. He's trying to hold something. I'm gonna. I don't. I don't believe him. You don't believe him. I don't believe him. You gonna roll for another hit? I'm gonna roll for another hit. I don't fucking believe you. I'll take off your cold dead body. There you go. Nineteen plus six is 20, 25. Twenty-five does it. Ugh. 
could have had two hits on it. Just okay. me. Eight damage. Eight damage. He's going to use his uncanny dodge Damn. to take half that damage. <laughs> or his version of uncanny dodge. Sorry. He's oh. still up. That was bad turn, Dave. <laughs> and your turn? Ah, uh, that's, that's all I can do. But I'm next to him, right? Yeah. Okay. He says to you, Fine, then I will break this bottle, and you'll never have her cured. Close well, out a vial. I'll be like, stop, hand. stop. Stop. What do you even want out of this? For me to leave. Stop talking, Sansa. No. Does it look like he's about to break it? Yeah, he's about to break it. Please. Stop following me. Just drop your weapons. I'll drop. I'll drop my swords. Both of them? Yeah. Okay. He's dropped both of them. Good. And he points at Tok Tok. Tok Tok! I told you, I'm better. And he says, I want Tok Tok Q. Ooh. Tok is just gonna glare at Zug Zug. And then. Whip out his uh, nice little potato cannon fun thing and point it right at Zug Zug's face. And just be like, mm, could give. Of course, could replicate potion. Probably not that hard. Doc Doc could also keep her alive long enough. You don't have much to bargain with. Means it might be good for you to run now, or we chase you out. Or maybe I finally get my revenge for your brother. Eh. <laughs> He's so mad right now. Uh, make a uh, make a make an intimidation intimidation check. check. Be like, I believe you, Tato. I've seen you make crazier things. That's right. Oh. All right, talk to oh. uh, It's a twelve. Oh, oh. oh god, sixteen. God oh. Damn it. Oh. He's so up. angry. How dare you make fun of Zap I'll have you both all dead. And then oh, he. God. Toss the vial onto the ground. Um, I'm afraid now. All right. Okay. Um, pick up my talk. Tongue. Talk. It's your turn. My turn is up. Yeah, when, you can pause off. When he shattered it. Yes, that's fair. That talk. Talk. Your your turn. All right. Talk. Talk's gonna eyes go a little wide, but then he's gonna glare right back at Zug Zug. Fine. And then he's gonna pull the trigger. Mm-hmm. And cast Firebolt. Oh! Oh, you have and to actually... back. You're too close. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. It's going to get an attack from opportunity, but it uh, might be worth it, though. I'm a little concerned. I know. If he hits me, I'm probably paralyzed, too. That's if you fail your con save. It's true, and I do have a really high con, but, you know, <laughs> you never know with the luck of the dice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, fine, fuck it. Talk Rock will leap back, but trying to get over here so he's still next to him so he can heal her. Okay. He's going to take an attack of opportunity on you. As he yep. takes the attack of opportunity on oh. him, it says that when a creature makes within five feet of you makes an attack against a target other than you you can use reaction to hit them and your turn just happened so yep. you got your reaction back so go for <laughs> it <to> nice <laughs> 17 hit him uh he already used his reaction so a 17 does hit him this bitch 10, Ten damage oof nice little swipe on uh he takes it all but he does take an attack of opportunity still on Tata. oh oh, oh. oh. Oh, oh, feels I good. I don't glass, but that's got to be high enough to beat that, I'm sure. I got an AC of 13. Does an 11 hit you? No. Nope. Nope. I'm good. Hey, All right, you're good. Whew, the one time it works in my favor. So... He can't take an attack of opportunity on you because he already used his reaction, so you're free. Oh, shit. Okay. Never mind then. Oh, so I didn't get to hit him. 
So you didn't get to hit him. Ah! Aww. No. All right. That max but damage wasted. I do get to That's shoot him. Huge. Okay. And 21 to hit. Is that hit? 21 does hit, yes. Yeah. And, ooh, nine damage. Ooh, he takes that nine damage in the face. Um, pa! Pa! As you see, um, his face is like being singed, just like air, like being singed by the flame of the puff of smoke. He just kind of like brushes his face a little bit from the, the fires of, you know, to remove some of the flames. He stands back up square at both Fielden and you. Remember, I still got flat uh, You still got flat back. Get him flat back. Yeah, yeah Tucker's gonna be like, flat that, smash! <laughs> and <laughs> then. Flat flat. Come on, don't fail me this time, flat flat. Oh shit! Alright, that's way better. 19 plus 5 is 24. That hits. Hopefully, the damage is gonna reflect it as well. Come on, don't roll no. Yeah, four. But plus three, so that's not bad. Four, five, six, seven. Seven damage. Oof, that's not bad at all. You see Zug Zug is now bloodied as he's wounded so bad. He's clutching his uh, his chest as that tackle, that smash really looks like he cracked something. Um, it looks like some of his bones. He's like, ah. he does not like it. Um, he is then going to... Uh, uh, look at um talk to that would be on your turn right yep ooh, 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 ooh. he is going to use his bonus action again to disengage i hit him all right hit that bitch does a 17 hit him i know he has something to dodge i hope not he will use his amazing parrying <sighs> skills God, yeah. to jump out of the way. <laughs> giving him an extra to his AC. Uh, Epic. He opens the door. And as he opens the door, the arcane sigil glows. Oh, he makes his way so out. Much. I think it's because I had to hit him. Yes, you have yeah, to. Yeah, I had to hit him for that's so your that's speed. One, oh. two, three, four, five. Oh, five, right. You're chasing him. And then um, he's going to look back and he sticks his hand out. As he sticks his hand out, you see a magical spectral hand flies out and touches the orb. And the, as the orb continues Major. to glow, um, he says, Goodbye, Tok Tok. Hope you have a nice sleep sleep. Aww. And all of a sudden, he activates the orb and the sigil glows. Oh, and it wides up. You hear the sound of magical um, surges <laughs> sparking everywhere. Um, it hasn't gone off quite yet. It is now your turn, Kaylin. Uh, I guess I get to make a death saving throw, yeah? Yeah? Not 20, come on, that's, that's an eight. Oh, no. That's a fail. Oh, oh no. <laughs> You have one for one now. One for one, yep. One for one. Uh, now it is your turn, Theoden. Um, can I, like, uh, fucking hell. I need Kaylin up. I don't know yeah. about magic. I'm gonna, um, uh, um. You see that the surges are sparking so um, so bad that it's growing. It's, it's expanding to a point where it's covering, almost covering the entire floor. Um, and as it's the search touched the wooden um, walls and the door, you see it bricks off. It chips the wood. Um, I'm going to try to feed her my healing potion. Okay. That's an action. Yeah, I know. Feel her for it. Uh, it's 2d4 plus 2. So it's only 6. You heal for 6 HP. 6 HP. Hooray! Right. I'm like shaking as I grab her. You see her body still spasm a bit. Oh, I'm gonna try to pick her up and half movement make it out the window. 
Which one looks easier to get through with her? Uh, this one. Okay, then that one. Oh, actually, no, this one. The one I have to part? Yeah. That one. Three. Like, uh, you have to make an athlete. Bear roll out. With uh, you can't carry Kaylin out. You would have to toss her out first. Oh, or God. you make an athletics so check. And if you fail the athletics, you won't be able to make it. I won't, but she will. No, yeah, both of you won't be able to make it. Okay. I trust. But if you, if you succeed, both of you will. I trust my athletics. I have a okay. plus one. 16? You both make it. So that will be. Like, thing. talk, talk, run! All right, talk, talk, uh, it's your turn. Talk, talk, get out! <laughs> We're gonna see. I talk, talk. We're gonna steal it. Uh, we're about to find out. I 100% want to do our Arcana check right now. <laughs> right see now. See what the hell's going on. Yeah, because I need to see what this thing's doing and what the sigil on the floor is. Um, you would have to do a closer inspection. Oof. You'd have to be right here at least to do it. <laughs> is that crazy lightning stuff right there too? The crazy lightning stuff is right here. It's not, it hasn't expanded uh, beyond this square yet. Just yet? Okay. All right, so he'll step up. So if there's a means okay. of stopping it before it goes off, that would be best. But let's see. All right. <laughs> Come on, don't fail me down. And Talk Talk's dead. Oh, well, shit, but you're all... Natural one. No! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Of all the rolls on a 20-sided dice, a oh, natural my fucking... God. Oh my god. Okay, alright, alright. Does anybody have an inspiration you guys want to use it on? No, oh, I don't. Oh wait, I haven't used any of my inspiration at all. Oh my god, use your inspiration right fucking now. Yeah, alright, that's a good... <laughs> good idea. I think I only have two, because I've used one already to help somebody out, and this will be this my second one, so... Alright, alright, that's be better. Okay. okay. So that's a 17. <laughs> killing me. I thought you were going to roll another one. Oh my god. I'm I've done that panic. before, so don't test me. But this was a natural 17, and I get like plus 6 on top of that, so that's like what, 20? Okay. All right. So at a 23, you said? Yep. Oh, thank god. Okay. The magical surges uh, seem to react to this arcane situation on the ground. It looks like Zug Zug uh, was taught to write this down and he's able to learn how to use it uh, but not necessarily activate it on his own power it looks like he needed a key to do so and that was the orb the orb accesses power and he's trying to call lightning on the entire oh my God. house uh, which will destroy it and uh, kill everybody within its radius yep. it's a very powerful lightning strike um, it could definitely destroy this entire building so with my infinite and wise gnome knowledge, let's just go off of that, sure. Uh, I would understand that the orb is also reacting to the rune, or mm -hmm. sigil kind of mark on the blood, right? Right. Now, with my knowledge base, would it make sense that if the wood or the floor was smashed and the sigil broken, that it would stop it, or...? Do I get the feeling it's going to keep going um, whether that sigil's there or not? It's possible. Uh, it's possible. Uh, it's possible. It depends on how well you break the ground. Because what I'm thinking is not just like, oh, I'll just mark a little line. What I'm thinking is pulling out another one of my pellets and quite literally point blank launching catapult at it, which is a oh. super high maximum velocity doing 3d8 damage. And so, like, mm. blasting a huge hole, yeah, and just make a huge hole where the sigil was, so it's like pretty much all gone. Maybe? Yes, it could work, but you're relying on the uh, yeah. the the hit and the damage. With no hit, because it's a deck save, and I assume the floor has no fucking decks. Oh, so oh it's an automatic. Then you so damage then is what it's I an need. Automatic hit, so damage is what you need. All right, all right. Or you have, or you can use your action to spend. Uh, depends on how well you roll. You uh -huh. can maybe, maybe uh, disarm it by the end of uh, its explosion, but before it explodes. Oh, uh, okay. Destroying it, like just disarm. It's up to you. There's two ways you can do it. There's many ways you can do it, but 
That's one of the ways. You get an yeah. orb. Or you, you could smash the orb. Uh, actually, I kind of want to keep the orb because it's magical yeah. and that's what talks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to fall down lifeless that I can pick mm -hmm. back up, but... Uh, you know what? No, I'm going to say destroy the entire floor and hope for the best. All right, let's go. All right, before you roll, though, I do have to say one thing, though. Oh, yeah. Controls will help. I forgot. I forgot one more thing. Uh, Zug Zug is uh, controlling the spell from afar as well. Ooh. So he is concentrating on that magical incantation. So if you knock him with his mage hand. So hmm. that's also a uh a, a, a note. I mean, yeah. Your plan still could work though, I'm just saying. Yeah. Cause I could launch and knock him on his ass with catapult. Oh, but it's a deck save and I feel like he's really good with Dex as a rogue or whatever the hell he is. Yeah, he seems true. nimble as fuck. That, that would be really risky. Oh, uh, wait. How far away is he? 5, 10, 15, 20, open. 20. Should be about 25 feet, 30 feet away. 1, 2, 3, Could, 4, 5. Yeah, 20, can I move through the orb? Like, it's making, like, lightning and stuff, but technically it's calling lightning down from the sky, so that wouldn't hurt us to walk through it, right? In theory? No, not too much. Like, it'll zap you, but it won't do damage to you yet. Okay. But saying the house will. So, you know what? Yeah. Two part plan. Talk Talk's gonna blast the floor, and hopefully I roll enough damage to destroy the entire thing. And then, while he's doing that, he's just gonna yell out flap to flap flap, charge! And then oh. I'll have flap flap, because <laughs> it's 40 movements, so he would, he would be on top of it. Okay. And he's gonna try, to, well, not an attack, but like, you know, a knockdown or whatever it is. A, a charge, yeah. Okay. Which, All right, so roll. let's do this. First, let's roll for damage. All right, yeah. Let's first do this. I only got 2d8, so I gotta roll one again. Let's see. That is... That's not bad. Uh, 18. 18. Okay. Uh, oof. As you hit it point blank, you see the ground on the wood and the... Uh, the shatters so bad that um some of the magical energy is shooting off left and right causing all the chaos i guess it doesn't have anything to ground itself uh, besides the orb you can okay. see that off of the distance that uh zug zug is controlling it to the best of his ability um but he can't seem to pinpoint the uh the call so it's firing which way uh uh He's going to try to maintain the concentration to see if he can still cast the spell. Okay. So it didn't stop us, but hindered it. So. Oh! I mean, what's that mean? The that situation good? breaks, and now the orb is just has all the surges in it. It's just now the orb is surging with so much electricity. Zug Zug's having a hard time controlling. You see his mage hand drop. Oh. oh. Zug Zug's a bit frustrated. Uh, oh, is that a good thing? The surge is still going, the orb is still lighting up, but it's now uh, your turn, Flap Flap. All right. So Flap Flap is going to charge out and charge him. And then I've never actually done like a tackle move. What do I roll for that? Um, OK, so charge would be different. It, it would have to be. Um, it's uh, like a skill you, check. Uh, it would be a skill check. So you run up, you have to run a certain amount of feet, and then you roll a. Uh, you have to roll a hit, and if it hits, then you, we get to roll an athletics. Okay. So just do a normal to hit roll, then, to start off with. Mm -hmm. Uh, 19. That hits. Oh. All right. And so now, what would it be for? Knock him as a strength uh, check, athletics. athletics. Uh, roll for damage first. Roll the rend. Damage. <laughs> That's five plus three, so eight. Oof. It, he's barely up. He's bleeding out. And all yeah. of a sudden, you uh, make a athletics. Athletics. Is that oh. What it is? oh, it is what he's good at. Yay. All right. Oh, that's a 14, but plus four, right? Yeah, plus four, so 18. 
Oh, I rolled a 17. So, oh, that means so he beat you by so you beat him by one. You oh. knock him down to the ground. He is prone. Nice. Hooray. He gets, he gets a plus four to athletics, but he gets a plus one to acrobatics. So I'm glad it wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> Zug's up there. Um, I'm, sure. I'm sorry, what? I was just saying the house might still explode, so I'm not sure if I should be celebrating. Oh. Zug's up then is going to stand up um, and... Uh, Actually, this gnome uh, stands up. He's going to spend half to move to stand up, which kind of sucks. And <laughs> um, dash. So he's going to run the living hell. <laughs> he gets an attack of opportunity unless he uses that bonus action. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to use his bonus action to hide. So, so attack of opportunity. He gets from attack of opportunity from Flap Flap. flap. Okay, come on, Flap Come on, Flap Flap. Come on, kill him. Kill me now. Oh, God, that's a 12. That's not as good. 12. No. Misses. Uh, he runs away and uses bonus action to hide. Uh, he's now gone, hiding behind a bunch of buildings and using your guys' uh, lack of vision, uh, full vision, to hide behind uh, all their blind spots. Um, at think? this point, the orb is still glowing. Talk, talk. Uh, it is now... Kaelin's still up. Theoden, um, what do you do? Uh, he's just, like, nervously, like, trying to check her over she's still like paralyzed you're not running no i i need to check on her she's like paralyzed she's Damn. she's um twitching twitching uh i'm gonna like rush through my bag like it's okay i got it i got it um poison cure that sagan made i tried feeding her that she drinks it and it cures the paralyzed oh. is it really nice um, yeah i was yeah, hoping yeah. I was... Oh um I'll just hold her until she stops, like, shaking. She stops shaking for, like... Uh, she's still shaking at the moment because Tok Tok, you hear Tok Tok going, Ah! Tok Tok, what do you do? Uh. Alright, so it's going crazy with its little lightning spray. Yeah, now you know that when you destroy the situation, it has no conduit. So, um, it's, it's, the spell could go off, um, but it doesn't look like it will. Nice. So, um, um it, at least it doesn't say, look like it will go off. You here. got a rock. Yeah, well, I mean, it's rock still glowing, and but that also means it gives me time that I can actually try to disarm it the other way, then, right? Yes. Or at least try to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and make an arcana check. I got an extra minute. Uh, yep. Where's my arcana? Yeah. All right, so 17. 17. Well, you pull out some of your uh, arcane tools as well. Alchemy set as well. And make sure you pour out some uh, magical powders in your fingertips. And you write uh, some arcane um, letters, uh, runes, I should say, on the orb. And as you do, the orb uh, energy just slowly... Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Oh, I get a new toy. <laughs> yes, Doc Doc gets a new toy. Is this the the stone that Samuel was talking about? Yes, this is. Fuck the yeah! Okay, that's what about. I was thinking. Oh hell yeah, dude! I was like, I don't care about Zug Zug. I just cared about the stone. So Doc Doc, you now have an opalescent stone. But when you write the sigil on it, you see that inside it's kind of murky, cloudy, and you see our lightning. You see a couple of lightning storms come down in it. Oh, no, like you don't hear, you see. Yeah. yeah. It's got like a little mini storm inside of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's about um, it's about the size of your entire hand. Um, okay. But Theo is probably like a golf ball, but you're like, uh, it's pretty. It's a bowling ball to me, <laughs> pretty much. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like a softball to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, dance. Top Rock will slowly pick it up, breathing hard. And then pull Kaylin and collapse on his back, just going, ah, 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 Theo, are you alive? Uh, you hear muffled crying from the other side of the house. I just like, <laughs> he has his like face like buried into like Kaylin's neck, just like holding her clothes. Did you answer him? Yeah, we're alive. 
We're alive, Tug Tug. Okay, good. Finally, um, coming back, you hear uh, your flap flap. With all of that, you guys are now out of uh, battle, and you guys are by this house uh, with the with the sign of like a breath of relief that uh, things are going your guys' way. Um, you manage to collect yourself, compose yourself, uh, Theoden. You embrace Caitlyn as if you've never embraced her before. Uh, as you s- lay your hand in between her, uh, the nape of her neck, just to cry your head. I mean, um, she slowly reaches up to you, the back of your head, and touches you. I'll let you know that she can move finally. Okay. So minus that you don't have a saving. Yeah, I already so. did. You don't have any more. Yeah, I know. It's gone. That was the last one. Because she had used hers on me. <laughs> so now, uh, Theoden and um, Kaylin, you guys just activated a new ability. So I'm gonna I hate this right ability. Um, it's the actual spell warding bond. I'll send it. Okay, so what would you guys like to do now? Oh, god damn. Uh, I'm gonna give Kaylin my healing potion. Kaylin, um, she... Pass you another. He, he passed you another. Actually, healing. I'm gonna I'm gonna actual heal her with uh with my med kit. Okay. There we go. That gets you way more. Feels good. So that. Um, be... you spend How some time. Deal, oh, he's on death door too. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say while he's sitting there working on her, like talk talks like hair pops up in the window, and you see the hand come up with like the spray can, and he just pulls the trigger. <laughs> he just hits Theo in the face. <laughs> he's not even like trying to aim. He's just like, eh, there you go. <laughs> um. <laughs> And that heals it's him for tuck, tuck. eight. Eight, yay! Hooray! I mean, hopefully we get to nap after this, so we can get all this stuff back. But you know, just in case, a nap would be great. Bastard's I'll, still out I'll there. Take the time to so uh, some eight, nine, ten. So that's fourteen health for Kaylin. Thank you. I rolled max, max healing. Oh. Thank you. I feel a lot better. I'm gonna um, call to Talk Talk and be like, Talk Talk, do you need healing too? I can, I can heal you. Little hand pops up in the window, giving me OK symbol. Talk Talk hasn't been touched. <laughs> I'm glad. Caitlin will laugh at that. Take great care of like wrapping the the stab wound on her back. Cause that probably will hurt like a bitch. And then I'm gonna try to wrap up some of my wounds fast as well okay nice six for me cubes feels good so i get 14 as well all right so you guys spent your some time healing yourself talk talk taking a breather um now that's a quietness has overtake you guys i've spent about like 15 minutes or to 30 minutes um collecting yourself uh, as you guys look over at this uh house what do you guys like to do with uh the the flooring, the floor beds, uh, at the front, um, being destroyed, and the uh, people that used to live here are killed. What you guys like to do? Oh god, that's true. Yeah. I'm like, Kaylin, don't scare me like that again. What happened in there? What What do you mean? You went around to the other side and and you just heard things the window uh, he you're on the ground and you it, he caught me by surprise I'm okay it he uh, changed his uh, appearance to a young boy and I felt he still had a pulse so I healed him and then he he stabbed me and I just fell. And I couldn't move. But I am Thank okay you. now. Okay. I am just tired, Theoden. Yeah, just rest up. Don't move. Don't don't move too much. Okay. I'll I'll go look inside. Are you okay right here? Uh, yeah, I'll be fine. I'll kind of, like, help her sit 
against the, the wall of the house. Okay, yeah, you help her sit against the wall and um, propped her up. Yeah. You notice that Tok Tok is uh, caressing this orb as he finally finds a place to sit down. <laughs> oh, um, walk in. My precious! Oh, he's inside. Like yeah, he's already inside. Like, is, do you think that's the stone that Samuel was talking about? Uh, Tok Tok would wager yes. I mean, it could be multiple stones Zog Zog carried on them, but that would be weird. The stone is so round and so beautiful and so opalescent that it, it just just looks like an orb. But in reality, it's a looks like a stone that like could fit somewhere. Could fit somewhere, so I think it's Ooh. the machine's one. Well, you better keep that close. We don't want Zog Zog to come back. No, 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 not at all. Mm-hmm. Tag Tag will have to look this over more. But this could be a good start. Well, well, shame Zog Zog got away, though. To do. Well, just yeah. We could find him. Just, I don't think he could get that far. Mm, no. He just. Short like me. Easy to slip in and out of shadows. Hard to find sometimes. At least we got the stone, that's all I cared about. Yeah. We'll be able to get Zug Zug another time. Hopefully. Next time I won't miss. Kaylin okay though? Yeah, the 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 cure that Sagan made it actually helped the poison. Oh, marvelous. We're lucky on that one. So yeah. I to grab those clovers. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was really lucky. Definitely a good thing Talk Talk didn't have to make another antidote. You know, that would have taken time because Talk Talk definitely could have done it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, maybe we should make some more of them now that we know that Zug Zug and the others they use this poison. That is not a bad idea. Definitely not the first time we've been poisoned. Um, I'm gonna start, like, looking around the room to see if I see anything unusual about, uh, like, the people he picked. Like, why, why this family? Uh, make a perception check. At a disadvantage? Or no? Uh, investigation check, I'm sorry. Okay. If it's not disadvantage, that would be a 17. You look around and, uh, Probably guessed because just the proximity. Just killed just because they were here. Um, um, no other clues of like. No. Uh, you don't even you know. You like see... I definitely don't know magic, but it just seems so random. About like what 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 the heck? Why was he gonna kill this whole family? Um, you gather that he's trying to pull off a disguise. Take it away, I guess. Yeah. I think that's all we needed from here, Tap Tap. We should start heading back. Back where, though? Technically, murder family here. We blew up the mayor's house. Might not be wise to sleep here. I feel bad leaving the inn at least like that. I mean, we can go back to the end. I just said it might not be a good idea. We could be fine. I need to bury Samuel. Oh, not true. At least that. I'm sure the townspeople will want to handle their people. But Samuel wasn't one of them. I'll do it. Yeah. Me help. Okay. Uh, I'll head back outside to help Kaylin up. Yeah, so we'll I hop on flap flap and follow. Carry her, so okay. Just carry her. Yeah. Uh, talk talk, you hop on flap flap and Theoden makes his way out and Theoden uh, carries Kaylin uh, princess style while you walk beside <laughs> towards the uh, <laughs> towards the inn or tavern. <laughs> uh, when you arrive at the tavern uh, it's as quiet as you left it. With the body still intact for the most part. It's still there. You mean for the most part, yeah. Um, and the 
uh, halfling uh, tavern owner. Um, he is also on the bar with his dagger on his back. Yeah. Drink on his back. Uh, but you also notice that okay. when you go upstairs, Samuel's still there. You clean up some of the blood and yeah. spend a good good hour doing so. I'll take yeah, good time. Um, by that time, the sun is slowly setting. You make your way out. You um, can bury him outside. You can go outside yeah, these. Like I'll find like walls. a nice yeah. spot. Like say so you bury him right here on top of a mound or something. Yeah. As you travel, you actually pass by um, uh, Marianne's uh, place. Her actual place. Her actual place. Um, you see a stable. Um, you see a couple farmhouses. She's quite an entrepreneur. Um, as you make it past her house, you find like definitely the uh, of that. give her the the bad news. Well, you would do it after you okay. bury, right? Well, I said you're carrying possible. Samuel. Yeah. I said you pass her house. Okay. Right. Um, and uh, you find like off the distance, you find a small area where you start digging and bury Samuel. There, um, talk talk. You also help, um, Kaylin. Are you, are you helping? Or are you staying back? No, I wanted to do this alone. Oh. Oof. Yeah, it takes a while. That's why I was like, oh, it's gonna take a while. I should just tell her first, so she can take care of her in. Okay. As a bit sooner, I guess. So, talk talk oh, and Kaylin, okay. you are back at the tavern. Um, Dylan has already spent an hour cleaning it up. And decide to make his way out. Yeah, just Side. give them like the. I want to go bury Samuel. Mm -hmm. Just stay safe here. Keep an eye out for talk for Zub Zub. Okay. Lock all the doors. I'll okay. pick up my bag and my my weapons. Okay, Kaylin will okay. just trance. <laughs> She's tired as fuck. She's had an right, emotionally just... exhausting day. Yeah. Sure. And a physically exhausting day. <laughs> a little bit of both. <laughs> Getting knocked down twice. Time has passed. Theoden, you made you travel uh, southwest of town to um, to find a good place to bury. As you travel southwest of town, you're getting further and further away from a lot of the buildings and closer to the forest tree line. You find a good opening uh, of the hill to bury him in the grasslands. As you start digging, you reminisce, thinking about your good friend. Finnegan and what we will say to him when you find out that his when he finds out that his brother is dead. Mm -hmm. You remember what he says to you and all of his good friends that he is trying to fight for. Uh, at least Samuel was. There's still some good people left here in Oxford. While you're spending your time digging, constantly thinking, collecting your thoughts and. You start crying, and out of frustration, you slam your shovel uh, to the side. You just kneel down right by the dead body, now encased in like a uh, like tied up in the uh, sheets. This young boy still is too young to go. You rip your shirt open a little bit to look at your tattoo, reminded of who you served and what you've been doing. What do you do? I'm gonna hold my my holy symbol and then make a silent prayer to the Everlight. Okay. And beg her for answers what I should be doing. You pull out a... Um, a punishment. A statue. You grip it so hard. You pray to it as you look up into the sky. No answer. You scream to the top of your lungs. Tears run down your face. Um, trying to get an answer from the god this herself. But no answer. Yes. Disheartened by it. You frustratedly pull up your... Uh, yourself up, grab the shovel, and start digging. And continues to dig. 
while we go over to um, Kaylin. Kaylin, you find a brief moment to rest, and even though you're tired and exhausted and emotionally drained, you manage to fall to bed just fine. Talk, talk. You spend this opportunity to kind of study the orb and make sure to keep another ear or uh, kind of check around and make sure to uh, keep watch a little bit. So, oh. in, um I think time has passed. It's about uh, late in the afternoon. It's the sun is already setting and the moon is already risen as you make your way back towards the tavern. Did I burn it? Oh, I thought you buried it. No, no, I said like, I want to do my burn. Oh, but. Hey, right there. He wants Over to here? burn off his yeah. tattoo. I want to burn off my tattoo. Yeah, no, so when he is done burying um, little Samuel there. Mm hmm. And the Everlight did not answer his prayer. Mm -hmm. He's going to take one of the twin claws and hold it out into the, the small fire and heat it up and then press it against his mark until it burns off. Um, just leaves a burn mark. Just call it. He didn't do a really good clean uh, burn, but feel the pain. But it at least gets the mark off? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all that matters. Not very cleanly, though. It'll do. You make your way back to um, uh, the tavern. Uh, and at this time, I'm pretty sure uh, Kaylin should already be awake. I figured. Uh, four hours have kind of. Did I let Marianne know on the way back? Oh, you want to talk to Marianne? Yeah, I want to let her know what's going on over there. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I come in with like a singed. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You find Marianne. She is just getting ready for bed. As she sees you, she freaks out. She goes, oh, oh. sorry. Whew. Uh, I didn't mean to scare you. I just, I thought you should know what went down. Um, I guess some assassin came and he worked for Jurassic and he killed, he killed your, your halfling. <sighs> I'm sorry. She's she's shocked by this whole scenario. We weren't able to track him down. We're still looking for him. Don't worry. We'll get him. She says, What well, are you one of those people that um blew up the, the town center? I mean what if we were? Well I um this village is well, I... Don't uh, worry, we're leaving. I just wanted you to know. I'm sorry about that. I really am. Well, all right. Um, do you... Do you need help burying him? I, I, I think Sagan left. It's best if you leave tonight. Take care of everything. I'll, I'll make sure everything runs smoothly for you. I'm uh, sorry again. I'll head away. Uh, do you need a horse? If you have one to spare. Uh, I, I do. I I could buy it. I'll just say 20 gold and we'll call it even. Yes, yeah, sure. I'll hand her 30 gold. I said 20. I know what you said. For damages. Trust me. <laughs> this doesn't cost. This is just not cover damages. <laughs> I'm sorry. Also, uh, you seem to know a lot of people here in town. Uh, the farmhouse of uh, Al describe the location of where it is. I'll be like, he also took them too. Wow, oh, thank you. I'll head out. Unless, is the horse here? She or? takes you out to the stable and, and she finds you a horse. This time a better horse, not better than... <laughs> yipper. Yipper. I mean, we still like the Yipper. Uh, but... Yipper's old. 
Yeah. Um, I don't have high hopes for you. Gives you the horse. It's, it looks like a young steed. Oh, okay. Young, yeah, well, relatively young. It's younger than Yipper by okay. a lot. A sturdy and strong horse. She gives it to you and she says to you. Oh, wait, it's, uh, sorry, it's a, it's a black horse too. She says, Well, I, I can never get it to listen to me. So I named it Braun. Braun? Take it. Braun. It's a fast horse. That's what we need. I'll go up and I'll, you know, she, stick you, my hand out for the horse to sniff and. And actually, she touched it. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's odd. Well, what is? Well, that horse don't like nobody except Neminar and you. Likes Neminar? <laughs> Isn't that the kid? From... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Why? Does he. I... Is this his horse? I don't want to buy his horse. He's oh, already. No, no, that's not his horse. I got it from the. Mer I got it from. Uh... I got it at an auction. Um, I was told that the man was down on his luck that owned the horse. Gambling debt. He says uh, he had this horse uh, bred from Jurassic's great steed. He rides out to battle all the time. I thought that was weird. Oh. That's a high story. I mean, can I look at the horse? Does that look like Jurassic's horse? I know Jurassic's horse. Oh yeah, it does. Uh, Jurassic's horse is black. Um, his 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 real horse is uh, his favorite horse is black and gray mane. And this one's just all black. Uh, this is just all black. I wonder how he came across it. Oh, with white hoofs, with white socks. White socks, cute. Mm -hmm. What? Well, I mean, this is a weird question, but what happened in the? The man, what do he look like? I, I don't know. Oh, I was just told. You didn't see him? I was just told. Okay. Well, here's your saddle. Your reins. Come on, on now. Take care of Brown. I'll take good care of him. I show the horse on. Yeah. As you gallop beside the stable, you make your ways towards the inn. Uh, Kaylin's already awake. Talk Talk is slowly falling to sleep, um, dozing off a bit. Uh, Talk Talk, during this time, uh, during the four hour uh, downtime, do you want to do anything? Uh, I mean, maybe check out the stone a little bit more. Okay. All right. Make it our final check. Okay. Oops. That's a natural 16, but I get plus 6 to that, so that's a 22. You know this is a keystone to a uh, to a very powerful, powerful weapon. Um, and it looks like it holds a uh, primordial, an energy of a primordial inside of it. Energy of a primordial. Yeah. It looks like lightning. Obviously, seeing it close up earlier today. Uh, does it and look you like? That... Oh, you sorry. Can cast call lightning from this orb. I was about to say, does it look like I can do what he was trying with it? But apparently, yes. Yes, you do. Call lightning. Call lightning. That's a good spell. It's a really good spell. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. You guys oh. also found a wand. On the oh ground. yeah, the copper wand. The copper wand. Oh, did he drop that? Oh, he dropped it when you man. tackled it. Uh, he picked it up. He, tr yeah. So you guys picked it up, and you know this wand, uh, Tuck Tuck, because you use it a couple times. It's the wand of the magic missile. Uh huh. Oh, nice. That hurt us real good. That hurt. Okay, that hurt so good. <laughs> real bad. Yeah, uh, that, was, that was a fun one. Like, yeah, Caleb that was, was like, like, it was so fun the first time. What if he hits me with it again? <laughs> exactly. The <what laughs> warning bomb. And in a way, he kind of did. It does not require a teammate, so you can just pull it out of your bag and shoot it. Oh, nice. Is it like a after a long rest it can be used again kind of thing? No, it's uh every day to um it recharges. 
Okay. So. It regains all charges or like No, it recharges a certain amount. Okay. Mm. Okay. So as long as I go a couple of days without using it, it gets more and more charges and kind of builds up yep. to a certain level kind of thing. So, oh, that's yep. kind of yeah. nice. I'll give you, I'll give you the stats. Uh, I'll, I have it, but it's not right now. Nicely. So I'll rewrite it, but for now, you can have it. Hooray! Make my way back to the, the inn. All right, you make your way Leave, back to uh, the Leave Braun in the stable next to uh, Yipper. No. Uh, right. You know, so yeah. Elvish prayer to the halfling that got pulled into this, you know. It's not a halfling, it's a... Oh yeah, the, the, yeah, the tavern. Yeah. <laughs> As you say prayer, at this point, your, um, your holy statue glows. It what? It glows. It glows? Yeah, it reacts to your kindness. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. It's, it's never done that. Interesting. Uh, I'll like start looking like, oh, what does this mean? Like, I'm so confused. No answer. Does it like turn off glowing? Yeah, just okay. for a short period. After you finish your prayer. Uh, I'll just, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to that. Like, I'm afraid to put it away now. That was okay. so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the room. Yeah. You make yourself back to the room and you find your allies rested. Kaylin wakes up, slowly gets up. I'll you make sure she walks just in. lays on the bed. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm just, I know you're probably awake, but you should just keep resting for a little bit. I am fine, Theoden. I don't know about that. We don't know what he did to you. I'm... I mean, I think the poison's gone, but... And what did you do? She'll... Uh, I'll <laughs> grab her hand. What was this? It is our bonding mark. Remember? We yeah, did the no, ceremony. I, I remember. I I don't remember it ever doing whatever it just did before. It's well, it protects. It lets us uh, share. The burdens, and I, I figured you needed to stay up if we wanted the chance. So I Ugh. shared. He just like lets out like a deep sigh, and, like just holds her hand to his head, and he's like, "Why are you like this, <sighs> Kaylin?" I. I don't want you to do that again. Are you... I'm going to, Theoden. It's not up to you. Just don't do it where it takes you out like that. that it was more danger by you doing that than if you hadn't. Uh, but I knew that that... I was so scared that you were... You didn't see the, the orb was like... There's exploding the energy and... She's gonna like grab his face. Theo, it's okay. Everything is okay. And now it is. Yeah. Take it. I got you out of there. That's you did. Thank you. I I knew you would. I knew that you and Tark Tark could do it. I trusted you. And it paid off. Yes? Yes. yes it Yes. Yes. I know what I am doing. Yeah. He's still playing with the orb. No, he's done at this point. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm just... I can't... I can't lose you, Kaylin. It's gonna take a lot more than a tiny gnome to take me out. He just got lucky. I was... I hope next time Nick will be more on your side. It's... Well, now I know he can change his appearance, so he can't uh, get me like that next time. He just played on my weak spot. You're too kind. That's what I've been told. She'll, uh, like, stand up. <laughs> you 
even though Theo doesn't want her to. She's gonna do it. Heck, <laughs> heck it. So, you guys stand up. Um, at this point, Theo didn't, um, you hear a lot of mo commotion outside. Ah, oh, shit. Where are you? We can't stay here for much longer. We have to keep moving. I told, I told Marianne what happened. And mm. us, she gave us a new horse. It's faster. But we should get going. Mm, yes. Sorry, Tok Tok. I don't think we'll get to sleep. Well, I was Tok Tok excited in the first place, remember? <laughs> Getting yeah. far away from here as possible. So I guess we continue heading south. Southeast, actually. South, east, yeah. Mm. What is. The forest. Uh, the forest, okay. Yes. We're trying to find the green elves that Marianne, the first Marianne, spoke of. Mm. Yes. Okay. Maybe you know where Yenlar is. Mm. Uh, yes. Uh, we should. We should go. Should we? Should we leave Yipper here? I don't. It's kind of an old horse. Yes, I am. I am going to find Hufwe soon, so we can leave the Yipper. As we're as we're packing up to leave, do I see Marianne here? No. Okay. No. Then I'd like to. There must be like paper somewhere in this cavern. Sure. Yes. I'll write her a message that like thank you for Bron. I leave Yipper in your care. She as is it a she horse? No. Boy horse? No. It was a lot of help, but if you could return him to your sister, Marianne, uh, that'd be appreciated. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. You guys make your way out to the front uh, part of the tavern where you see tied there is uh, Yipper. Yipper's just grazing on the straw. Yeah, I'll give Yipper a good Super old pot old. for yeah. all that hard work that <laughs> Yipper did. <laughs> kind of forlorn and sad, which is head up and <laughs> it's okay. Your adventure will be back to your home. The flares that snouts at you. Go about his day. Um, give him a good pat. <laughs> you see a black stallion and you hop on it with the saddle. Grab up uh, Kaylin to ride behind you. Yeah. Or in front. Oh, front. Sorry. That's where you go. Talk, talk has to. Uh, Hop on Flat Flat, Flat Flat. <laughs> yep. And you hop on the back of Flat Flat. You guys head southeast. As you guys travel southeast into the forest, past you see, you as you travel, you see a lot of people crowding around the town center and around this area. People are just ch chatting and talking, not knowing what to do. Everybody's lost. You guys snuck past them in the midst of the night. To avoid any confrontation. <laughs> we could be like, yo, Drastic did this, but I don't want to do that. It's <laughs> <laughs> up to you? Uh, nah, the least amount of attention we can draw to us. Probably the best. Yeah. Yep. But I told Marianne at least, so she could do what she wants. You guys head into the forest. And about... Traveling through this woods is a bit difficult. As the trees are tall, long, and narrow. I like pine trees. Um... Hey, uh, a weird kind of fog creeps up into the forest that only covers a little bit of the layout because it's cold and because it's super late in the dark, uh, late in the day. As it covers a part of your vision, um, Kaylin, uh, you're able to see past it because you're 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 used to traveling through forest. You'll be able to find. Uh, right. Luckily, you're, uh, what's your um? I think at, at a ranger level, you do you pick your uh? Um, she already had forest, right? Yeah, I picked I picked my uh t t t t what the heck is it called? Natural Explorer? Yeah. Yeah, it's forest. It's forest, right? Yeah. Do you get another one at a certain level? Can't be lost unless magical means. Yeah, you get uh, yeah, yeah, you're not lost. I don't I don't know if I get to pick another one. Uh I've never played Yeah, you do it. later. Okay. Later on though. It's like level ten or uh, because because you're naturally adapt at forest, you're not gonna be lost. You know the way around the forest and yeah. you know where to go, which direction. Uh, for about an hour, you can travel. Your horse is not tired at all. Flap Flap is not tired at all. Hey, yeah. Good job. So glad I got a new horse. <laughs> <laughs> you 
guys get to a point at the village where you hear a sound of a someone screaming, panting, oh. and you hear the sound of. You hear the ha, 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 running and rustling through the leaves of the of the, the, um, of the grass and the leaves on the ground. I'll try to steer my the horse run over towards whoever's running. Oh, it's so hard, it's so dark, you can't see. I have uh, dark vision now. Oh yeah, it, the mist is difficult for you to see. Okay, um, can Caitlin hop off the horse and try and find the person? Yeah, go ahead, and make a survival check. And she just hops off. I'm like, Kaylin! Oh, that's a nat 20, baby. Oh, <laughs> Peace. I'll try my best to follow Kaylin. You hear Theoden call out your name as you hop off. You pay it her no mind. I'll oh, pay him no mind. And you continue forward. As you trip move like about 15 feet ahead of the party, you look around, bending over, um, sniffing, seeing to find tracks. Then you run, story, uh, run like uh, east really quickly climb up some of the trees to get a bird's eye view and off in the distance you see a um a long horn individual um uh sort of like a uh it's slicked back a little bit it's kind of like sagan's horn uh his skin color is about the same color as sagan and um you see this tiefling with a tail um uh, it's a uh, looks like a uh, like a devil's tail with a little heart at the end of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's flapping about. He's like running, <laughs> and he's being chased by goblins, actually, on top of a wolf-like creature. Oh, oh boy! Wonderful! I can't wait to die to this. You see two, two goblins chasing the tiefling. Yeah, two uh, goblin riders. Okay. Um, what color are, they, feet apart. are they close enough to me where I can shoot them from the tree? Oh, pff, yeah. Okay, I would like to take out my bow and shoot them. Okay, shoot who? Uh, the people, uh, the guys on the, the goblins. Okay, okay, okay. Run a hit. That's another natural 20. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, the okay, dice jail okay. worked, dude. It rolled the nat one and then it was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll never do that again. <laughs> Don't pull me back there again. <laughs> then, uh, roll for damage. Repent. That's what Theo did. <laughs> Maybe he could roll natural 20. Uh, that is 13 damage. Uh, With a crit? Yeah, with a crit. It's 1d8 plus 5. I rolled two fours. Yeah. Feels so. feels mediocre, man. <laughs> um no, that's still a lot of damage. It. You what one happened? shot you one shot the uh the goblin. You hit the goblin or the the, the, the wolf like creature? The goblin. Okay. You hit the goblin go as he falls off. The other goblin pulls back the um this wolf beast like creature. Um it's larger than a wolf, by the way. The wolf just the beast like creature is like um, the the, go. The, <laughs> he looks up in the sky. Can I freaking can, out and just runs the opposite direction? Can I use my horde breaker? Oh, uh-huh, go ahead. Okay. Oh, oh God! I just threw my dice. I can't find it. God damn it! <laughs> uh, that's a natural eighteen. Okay, that hits. All right. You're so good at this. <laughs> That's six damage. Oh, six damage. Yeah. You 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 hit the goblin in the shoulder. And the goblin goes. Ah! <laughs> ah! And just continues to run. All right. Uh, I mean, just talk will... talk around. Can you take a pot shot too? <laughs> uh, talk talk. You're too far. Ah, damn it. She, uh, she had a bird's eye view. I'd like to hop off. Or get down from the tree and approach the tiefling carefully with my bow at the ready. As the tiefling runs up to you, <laughs> to the party, because he's running in that general direction. <sighs> he sees you guys in an arrow train at him. He's like freaking out. He's like, 
Ai, iar. Pris, pris. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Pris. Eu, oh, eu. Uh, my family call me, uh, well, I, uh, my family call me Martin. Martin? Martin. Yes. What are you doing? Where are you from? I was running away from Goblin Encampment. I was trying to steal something from them. Trying to steal what? Whatever they stole from us. I like raised my eyebrow at them. <laughs> like, you better <laughs> give us better sentences than this. Caitlin will pull her bow back a little bit more. Look, 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 look. I, I'm friendly. I, I don't mean harm. I... Goblin raided my village. We live in forest, not too far from here. That is all. I... lost my family. And now I am here... trying to get vengeance. Can I get insight check on them? Okay, go ahead. I am proficient. Fuck yeah. Oh. 21. Oh yeah, you believe him. <laughs> yeah, Kaylin at the at him mentioning that he you know lost his family <laughs> and stuff. Family she's she's she'll put her bow softy. down. <laughs> You're so soft now. <laughs> wow, don't make fun of her. She went through a dramatic experience of her dad dying twice. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, were you the one that saved me? Uh, oh. Had not at Kaylin. Yes, I was. Oh. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I I normally don't see a lot of uh, um. Elves around here, but when I saw that arrow, I was so happy. And elf was around. Oh. So there's more elves around here. Yeah, of course. I used to live near them. You used to live near elves. Your village. Yes, of course. We all share the same forest. Can you take us there? My home, it's destroyed. What? But I can take you to my... I can take you to the arrows. Yes. Yes. Does that sound truthful? With my insight? Yeah, yeah you believe it. You take his word for face value. Yeah, yeah. I'm like... Yeah. I'd like it, but... Before we do that, I'll hop off uh, Bron and like walk over to the tea room. And, uh, shirt. Is there a mark? You look at him and there is a mark. Uh, uh, it's a mark of a dagger um, with a uh, demon like uh, with a dragon uh, ensnaring the dagger have I seen this mark before? Nope. Mm. what's this? yeah I thought so alright I was hoping you wouldn't do this to me because this would be my first time I owe you my life I am part of a a group of thieves. We're known as the Dragon Daggers. Why the Dragon Daggers? Because it's a well, cool name. <laughs> I don't want to tell you everything about my village and what our culture was like. They're but dead. since they're all dead, why not? We tieflings, we do not like Jurassic. He has caused such harm, and we understood what it means. Our ancestor has taught us that evil will only breed more. He's trying to revive the age of Arcanum, and we're trying to stop him. Who's your ancestor? Tieflings. See, I, I don't know that much about tieflings. Oh, may I fought some. I worked with some. Well, um, we tieflings are very few in numbers, but when we migrated over here, we fought, we sought a new life. When Jurassic rose to power, we could not stand by him. He actually destroys a couple of our villages to make our powers weaker and our unity weaker. We turn to our old ways. We created a pact known as the Dragon's Dagger. 
uh, we're s- supposed to train to kill him. Well, to kill Jurassic. Yes, to kill Jurassic. Any enemy and of Jurassic. And we follow a code of conduct. Yes, any enemy of Jurassic is a friend of but mine. But I'm still young. Is I... what I was going to say. Oh, good. Oh, he smiles. Now that you get a closer look at him, he has uh, uh, people with eyes. Um, it's uh, uh, kind of gold. Mm-hmm. He has long, uh, slick back horns. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say long. They're short, um, and uh, they curl upwards. And at the tip, he has um, kind of curly, wavy, frilly bob cut hair. Mm-hmm. Adorable. Uh, Baby. He has um, one fang teeth. Oh. Just one? Just one tooth, sorry. One <laughs> tooth. I live for him. Um, and he has a cape and some leather garments around and a couple daggers. It's the only thing that looks demonic about him is his tails. His yes. tail and he has his normal uh, feet. Or... Normal feet, yeah. Okay. Uh, can we... oh, um, his skin is lavender, by the way. Oh, okay. I am part of the dragon's den. Now I have to. I owe you a debt. <sighs> I don't want to pay it, though. Could you. Could we make a deal later? Does it have to be right now? Why? I was afraid you were going to say that. Hold on, hold on. Do you ever want to spend your entire life in debt to someone? Hmm? No, I... I have a very simple way we can resolve this. How? You just take us to the elves. That's too... Hold on. What, Theoden? Nothing. That's a great... I... I saved his life not because I wanted something out of it. Because he was in trouble and he needed help. Okay. She'll uh, she'll extend her hand to him. Uh, Martin, you said. You can call me Mark. Marker. Mark. 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 Yes. Mark. I am Kaylin. Yeldrin. It is nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Kaylin. Your name, sir? Ah, uh, I guess. Um, Theoden Yeldren. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and your name, Master Gnome? Master Gnome. Tok Tok of Tok Tok. <laughs> Tok Tok of Tok Tok. He says, I've, I've never, I've heard of Master Gnomes. Walking around with crazy contraptions, but I've never seen something like that before. Oh, Tok Tok's pride and joy. Took a while to make. You are a master gnome. Truly. <laughs> oh, man, we are. Kaylin will smile like super proud at Tok Tok. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. I met a gnome once, uh, a different run. Um, he's a bit weird, though. Uh, he's he's dark skin and doesn't talk much. Mm, great, Zug Zug. Yeah, did he have scars on his face? Uh, yes, uh, he has a star- car scar on his face. Mm, but he oh. said that he didn't talk much. That does not sound like Zug Zug. Zug Zug liked to talk, it seems. He seems. He kind of goes back and forth. Prideful? He likes to brag. Yes. yes, prideful. He has nothing to brag about. He's pretty quiet. The mm. moment he finds something, you can't shut him up about it. Mm, okay, okay. Where did you meet this this gnome? Um, about two days ago, he stopped by village. He did now. Your village. Yeah, we was... we gave him food and take care of him for the night and let him go. And your village Which? was fine. There... Um, <laughs> no, it was yeah. destroyed just this morning. Just exactly. this morning, okay. So Which he direction did he come from? Before, yeah, he came from the south. 
uh, northeast from here. Hmm. Huh. Northeast. Hmm. That is interesting. Wait, so if it's it is actually not too far from town, the village. Yeah, so um, that means he was in uh, whatever that town's name was, came here two days ago for something, and then went back. Well, then went to our, oh, the really? village we were attacked in. Because you said a the week, place a was week, uh, uh, A week ago, sorry, a week ago. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Sorry, sorry, week ago. A week ago. It's about a week ago, maybe more. Mm. Hmm. Did he say what he was doing, or just passing through? Wherever your village is. Uh, he said he was running away from something. And you know, village of thieves, we, we understand. Mm. No, we're breaking up. No, no, I'm not ready to break up with you guys. I'm breaking up. Please, I can <laughs> change. I'm here. I'll be better next time. I'm here. <laughs> Give me I'm another here. chance. Me? Uh huh. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, he says, so, uh, Kaylin, I do have to warn you, dog, as he shakes your hand. Mm. The deal is not bro that easily broken. Oh? I have to save your life. Life oh. or life. Oh, well, I, I appreciate it, but I don't think they'll really be the No, chance. no, no, no. I have to. I... It would be a dishonor if I'm the only surviving member of my village. I have to do this. I, I will not stop you, Mark, but you'll be following us around for a long time. I do not go down much. <sighs> well, whenever you need me. Okay. If I have to go, I have to go. But whenever you need me, I will take a... <clears throat> A deal. Long from now, if you want. Ugh. <laughs> we will do what? Take it. I will prolong the deal. The debt uh, until you never pro prolong? need it. Oh, oh, prolong. Okay, okay. Like, do later? Yes, yes. Okay. It's, uh, hmm. So you can still take us to the elves, right? Of course, I'll take you to the house. But yeah, I have to warn you, though. They are not kind. Especially at this event. They are not kind. That sounds or, fun. Are they uh, wood elves? Or green elves? I can't tell the difference. I'm sorry. Mm. Hmm. Kaylin, did you ever hear stories of this forest? Well, DM, did I? Actually, um, no. <laughs> Actually, no. Mm, no, unfortunately not. Maybe we should try resting before we head into the... I was about to suggest that. Uh, yes, you guys can uh, rest. Hmm? Perhaps I know a good place to rest. Come. Hmm? Okay. Uh, I'll okay, okay. hop back up on... There's a village not too far from here. We should rest there. No, oh, wait. So. Which direction is the village? Is it? Oh, talking about the village came from? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he he points back here. Um, <laughs> that village we cannot rest at for reasons. They are good reasons. Oh, we are moving away from that village. Oh, we're heading south. I don't want to backtrack. The mm -hmm. forest is dangerous. I. I... I, I'm still too young. I, I don't know the forest at the back of my hand. I can handle a forest pretty well. And I have already Wait. rested. So I can stay up and watch. Is there no end to the debt I have to pay you? <laughs> Trust me. I feel you. <laughs> I'll get back on <laughs> onto Bron and I kind of hiss as I like uh, try to get on there. It hurts. Mage. Make it up. You guys travel um, further south and uh, make a survival check. Actually, as a ranger, you're able to find like a good clearing um, without any danger. Do you guys set up here? 
Uh, does it look like there's? I see them killing those how to find a good mm-hmm. spot. So yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah, want to set up like campfire? Hitting, yeah. That's what I'm saying. The city has ended. Uh yeah. Yeah, we'll go ahead and set up camp, uh, campfire and everything, and uh, Kaylin will just have her bow out at the ready. I was gonna say, Constantly. do we want a fire? That does also draw attention to us as well. Yeah, that is true. Do we? How is it? Is it like really cold, or? It is pretty cold. Not really cold, but it's okay. pretty cold. So a fire would be nice, but it's not needed. Uh, or is it needed? Well, for Theoden, it is needed. Okay. Um, uh, he's a human, and Tok Tok, he does need it as well, sadly. But not Mark? He's oh, Mark here. needs it as well, too. <laughs> so, everybody! Hey, not uh, me. So okay, what about you? Uh, it's because you guys don't have um, a sufficient amount of bed like materials to take mm. care of your guys' adventuring needs. Oh, um, yeah, because I got my bed roll back. Uh, sufficient amount. Although you do have some, it's not sufficient enough to survive the cold. Okay. Yeah, then we'll make yeah. we'll make the fire then for sure. Um, Kaylin, you could find like sp- specific leaves to make sure that the no smoke, smoke. Um, doesn't travel too high or too far. Uh, I'm really good at that. Yeah, I'd I'd love to do that then if that's possible. Um, yeah, most certainly. It's easy for enough for you to do. Excellent. Um, as you guys are resting behind around the fire, um, do you guys want to say anything to each other? Um, does he look injured at all, uh, Mark? Uh, Mark, yes. I'm gonna take the time to, you know, be like, hey, I can heal you. Here. Oh. I mean, we already know your little secret, so I'll just, like, kind of abandon him up. Actually, he takes off his entire shirt, and you yeah. see so many cuts. Uh, it looks like some uh, some of the, uh, he, he'd been dodging a lot of javelin throws from the goblins. Mm-hmm. And you That's see a couple nice. bruises. It looks like he's in burn marks. Actually, not burn marks, but uh, scoff marks, basically. Mm-hmm. Sit marks. Looks like you've had a fun life, too. Ooh! So, 13 HP for him. Hmm. He says, Your hand is so kind. It reminds me of my father. That's your chick again. Your father's a year? Well, the best one in the village, yes. Mm-hmm. It's been a long time. I mean... I mean, sorry, it's just... Recently, he's passed, so... This morning, or... You yes, said it was... this morning. Cats. I'm sorry for your loss. Kaylin will look down and... Yeah, my father also recently passed. So I am I... sorry for your loss. I am sorry for yours, as well. It is, uh, not easy. I still want to go back to the goblin encampment to get my revenge. I understand. The problem with that is, I did not know what I was getting myself into. There are actually a group of ravagers. Have you heard of them? Ravagers? Yeah. Yes. Eh? Uh-huh. We have heard of them. Well. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're back. We're coming back. We're coming back. <laughs> We're coming back. We're slowly coming back. You're back. We hear you. No. How do you oh. know? I don't know. I don't know. No? Oh, can you hear me now? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Shoot. Well. All right. He says... Um, the Ravagers, that's a group of Ravagers. I've never seen such large amount of groups before. I am, I was, I was caught off guard. I did not know that they were so strong in numbers. I went in and then I was caught and I tried to get out. And that's how this, how it happened. Mm. Do I see like the marks on him? What does it look like a huge gash? No. Okay. I'm no Tonarok, okay. (laughs) (laughs) This is my first thought. (laughs) Uh, Did when you were there? Did you happen to see what they were doing or saying? I don't speak orc. Do you? (laughs) No. (laughs) But as I was, you know, learning more about them, I discovered that they were taking my people there. 
doing some sort of ritual. They were about to finish me off until I got the chance to escape. Hmm. I feel like we should... We should look into that. Um, yeah. At the very least, if not do something about it. It uh, sounds... Troublesome. Yes, that is the word. Do you want to do that before we go to the elves? Um... Maybe after? If we... I mean, if they think this happened this morning, those people won't be alive if we do it later. You're right, you're right. Don't worry, most of my people are dead. Uh, did you see any other survivors? No. The last one... ...helped me escape. And now I am here. Was it... ...someone you knew? It was. Sorry. Mm. Uh, don't worry, I... I've grown to... Um, ...train myself to... Who am I kidding? <laughs> it hurts. It does. No matter it how hurts. strong you are, it hurts. As you finish wrapping them up. I don't mind trying to help if... If you think that... That person's still alive. Well, don't worry about it. We'll finish your quest first. I will take you to the elves and hopefully I will have enough time to reach the, uh, the ravagers. Mm. Okay. With these ravagers, did you happen to see any elves also there? Hmm. Not that, that I know of, no. Mm. Dark skin. And... Oh, dark skin. Wait, ah. no, what's, what's the half He has red hair. Does he have to have any Oh, hair? um. Yeah. Yeah, I describe him. I believe so, but I don't remember, really. It's so hard to tell the difference. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah. It is okay. I mean, he has a giant scar on his face. It's hard because a lot of ravages have scars on their faces. Mm, that is true. I guess you're right. Perhaps I did not see enough. It is something we can think about later. It, uh, you yeah. need sleep, yes? It's a great time to rest. <sighs> he stretched. Ah, it's nice to have good company around, you know? Good sleep. Good sleep. You both sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, okay. Uh, does it look like... I mean, this is an Elven Forest, but... Or we're not in the Elven Forest yet? You technically are. Do I see any more herbs I need to make a healing potion? It's too dark for you to look. I have dark vision. Oh, you have dark vision. <laughs> Go ahead. Make a <laughs> Thanks, Talk Talk. Thanks, Talk Talk. <laughs> I know. That's a solid 11. Nope. Damn it. Hey, Talk Talk, can I get some of the ingredients out of your, your magical cube? Eh? Uh -huh. I mean, that's why you what, put them in there, right? What, what do you I need the ingredients? They go to sleep, Theoden. I Both of you. Potions. We can make potions later. Oh, when this later? Just, In the morning. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be too hard. It takes, you know, it has to sit overnight. It's fine. I can, I can do this. Before and you say sleep. I'm stubborn. Yeah, you know, maybe I am stubborn, but I know we need this, especially if the elves are not the kindest. Mm. I'll start uh, pulling out the uh, beaded gourds I have. Oh. And start using it to make uh, potion potions. Nice! Pause. Right. So I'm, I'm aiming to make all five of these gourds potions, but we'll see what my roll, I guess. Uh, you probably would only make one. One? Okay. Roll. Beaded gourd. Oh! Natural 18 plus your, um... medicine, so soft 20. Okay. Nice. Uh, you're able to make two. Two? Two. You're able to make two. 
Two potions. DM, I have a question. Sure. Um, you said we're in an elven forest, yeah? Yeah. Is there any chance I can find Hofway? I could call Yeah, Hofway. certainly. Yes! Yeah. My son. You, how do you Your do that? Son. Um, I guess uh, when Theo's making the potions, I'll kind of walk over to a tree and put my hand on the tree and kind of, you know, see if, you know, ask the trees to send Hofway my way, basically. Okay. The tree, uh, rustles a little bit. And you hear the sound of uh, light galloping off in the distance. Ooh. You hear the sound of Hufwe roaring at you. Caitlin is just big smile, oh. hands up. Hufwe! <laughs> she'll <laughs> run over to or she'll run over to hug him around the neck. You hug it around its gigantic body, uh, twice your size. Its antlers growing a little bit taller, a bit wider. It looks down at you with its all of its divine markings, and you know, licks you. <laughs> Who is my good boy? I missed you. I missed you, Hufwe. You're such a handsome boy. <laughs> Who's the most handsome boy I know? It's oh, Hufwe. Damn, I look sad. <laughs> Feels not a boy, he's a man! Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Kaylin will hop on his back and ride back to where they were. Oh, and just, yeah. just like, leaning on his oh, neck, like, darkness. hugging him. <laughs> I look a little scared at first. I'm like, oh. Oh. This came out of nowhere, Jesus. <laughs> just gonna scratch under his chin. I told you I would find him soon. I'm glad you were ready. I'm glad he's safe. Does he need food? I don't know how this works. Rufwe, are you hungry? He shake his head no. No, he's a good boy. She'll yeah. snuggle him some more before hopping off his back. He uh, set himself up uh, right next to uh, Tok Tok and Theoden mm -hmm. and gracefully sits down. What, what's Bron doing? Can I uh, feed and give him water? Bron is by a tree. You tied him and he's just sleeping. Okay. Good. At least he's getting his rest. Uh, he folds, uh, by the way, Hufe folds and Hufe kind of pulls his antlers and push uh, <laughs> Tok Tok closer to his body. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Yeah. Cute. Oh, look. Hufe has a new favorite. Well, I guess uh, at night I'm just gonna like tend to my wounds as well. Okay. And as uh, you tend to your wounds, can Kaylin what help? Do you do? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Kaylin's gonna see him tending to his wounds and she'll go over and uh, start to help him. And as you start to help him, you see that uh, there is a burnt mark over his tattoo. She is going to gasp and cover her mouth. Theoden, what happened? It's okay. I found, found what I needed. No, it's... I... What? What did you do? This mark isn't going to haunt me any longer. It's fine. It'll heal. No. It shouldn't take too long. Oh, Theo, then? Did you... Did you do this to yourself? Yeah. I needed to. Why? Why would you hurt yourself? It's uh... It's just a mark to hurt everyone around me. I wanted it off. It's, it's really okay. And I, I hated seeing you see it. She'll, uh, like, touch his face. Oh, Theo. I'm sorry. Are you okay? You don't have to be sorry. I'm sorry, really. Yeah, it, it stings, but I know how to deal with burn marks. Can I help? Um, I mean, it mostly just needs some water. Oh, okay. But, sure, you can... I mean, you might have better things off 
healing since you guys always say that my healing is in vain. Yeah. It is uh, better than your elvish, she'll tease. <laughs> but here is your is your wound okay? And I'll look at the stab wound, the poison stab wound. Huh? How is, is my poison fine? stab wound? It's gone. Yeah, it's pretty much. Okay. Uh, well, not really gone, but um, it's pretty much uh, closed because of the amount of cure wounds that it was in. <laughs> hey. Only one cure wounds happened. Two. Two. Oh. Nice. Yeah, like, so I, I brush your hair aside and I'm like, it looks like whatever he stabbed you with isn't gonna hurt you any longer. Oh, that's good. See, I knew what I was doing. No, but next time I won't let get you, I won't let you get marked. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Theoden. You can't always protect me. I can protect myself. I just... It's seeing my father, it's knowing that he's really gone, it just hurts, and it just, when I saw the family and I saw them all dead, it, it just distracted me, and I, next time I will have a clear mind. He'll just, uh, pull her in for a hug. And... You embrace Kaylin. Yeah. In the night. Talk, talk. Uh, do you want to do anything before nope. say anything? Before bedtime, oh, okay. talk, talk. probably already like passing out on a... On Hufei? Yeah. Oh my god, All I right. love it. <laughs> the warm body of Hufei uh, keeps you co uh, warm and also Aww. the fire. While the fire is crackling, Yodin, you quickly embrace, uh, I mean, you softly... You uh, firmly embrace Kaylin longer until you slowly fall asleep. Kaylin laying on your chest. Not sleeping or resting, just laying and enjoying um, your guys' uh, warmth. We're going to leave out tonight's session with that. <laughs>